Officially, it has been 11 days since Indiana State had its heart shattered in the closing moments against the Liberty Flames. But now, it's Missouri Valley Conference football season for the Sycamores, which is a brand new beginning. Well, we knew that, uh, you know, we liked the way our schedule was. You know, we had a non-conference schedule that was going to be very challenging, and uh, we'd love to be sitting here one and two or two and two and one, what have you, uh, but we're not. And uh, we got an off week to regroup, to get better, knowing that we got an eight-week uh, schedule ahead of us. And uh, we're starting off with one of the top teams in our conference. Well, I've, I know I've said it a lot, and I just got it from Coach Mallory, really, when he first came here. It's the next play. It's the next practice. It's the next game. We're always thinking the next play, the next play. And that's just what we're thinking. You see us out here when we mess up, you know, we're getting on the next play and we're ready to roll. So I think that's just what it is. We come out here and we know that we have another week to play. You know, we're only guaranteed so many weeks, and we just want to take advantage of the opportunity because we think that we can do something. The young red shirt freshman quarterback you just heard put up the second most passing yards in a game for a Sycamore quarterback with 405 against Liberty, two yards off the record from Mike Parrish, which was set in 2014. 260 of those yards went to Bob Pugh, who, by the way, had the second best receiving night in Indiana State football history. Both are hoping to see this trend of the Sycamore offense continue to go upward. To me, it just shows that we like we got a high power offense, and then like it's just giving uh, our offensive coordinator, Coach Heck, uh, is basically just let him know that we can throw the ball and just have him confident in us. I was just trying to win. I'm a competitive player, and every time the ball in the air, I just try to grab it and catch it. I don't want nobody else trying to catch none of the mess up my uh, stats or something. So I was just trying to get a win. I ain't care about the yards. I ain't realized how many yards I had to after the game. I think it showed that we can throw the ball and we can catch the ball. That was something that the coaches were really harping on us on. You know, we got to be able to hit the open guy. Got to be able to catch passes when we're open. And I think that game, it just instilled confidence. I think it showed the chemistry that we have after all the work that we've been putting on. It felt good to know what we can do. We know we're a dangerous offense, and it just comes down to execution. Defensively, Indiana State was led by Kiaris Ardley with 12 stops, becoming the third Sycamore to reach 10 or more tackles in a single game in 2017. Ardley and his teammates want that end result to change, but they know each and every week, Indiana State continues to improve as a football team. As a defense, it shows us that we got a lot of players that can really play. Um, we just working as one goal, just forget our first W. I mean, this week, hopefully, we can all just put it to test. Day one of camp, I was in my playbook from day to night. I mean, just stay with it, stay with it, loved it. I mean, you got to love the game to, to perfect your craft. Whether it was the game-winning touchdown for the Eastern Illinois Panthers in week one, or the blocked field goal in Lynchburg for the Liberty Flames. The belief of this Sycamore football team hasn't diminished one bit. Because, see, in the games, we, them games we lost, we lost by just a couple points. So we know we're good, and then the coaches know we're good. It's just the little things we got to come out here and finish and be better at. There's still a lot of football left to be played. You know, uh, those first three games were. You know, good games for us to go out there and see what we are as an offense. First year in this offense, first year with this coaching staff. But conference starts now, and that's what we've been concerned about. You know, that's what Coach Mallory was telling us when he first got here, is that our number one goal is to win the Missouri Valley Conference, and that starts now. So that's what we're really looking forward to. Uh, it's been a while since we've closed out one of these videos. I think I know how to do this. For more on Sycamore football, you know where to stay. Right here on GoSycamores.com. Reporting from Memorial Stadium, I'm Luke Martin.